Good morning, North Point. It is December 1st, 2015, and I'm Jenna Watkins. And I'm Amelia Vasquez. And Wake, Wake Up, Up North, North Point, Point starts, starts right, right now. now. In school news, it's Takeout Tuesday. Teachers, if you don't like what you brought for lunch, order out. It's Takeout Tuesday. Tuesday. Good, mo- good morning. Rain is moving across the tri-state and will taper off by mid-morning. A warm front is lifting northward, so Thames will now be in the mid-50s. Temperatures will fall behind in the cold front this afternoon. Uh, to unto the upper 40s tonight expect partly cloudy skies with some part with some patchy fog and a low around 36 now on to our spanish word of the day today today's word is alboroto which means right now on to lunch lunch today will be nacho tacos yogurt cheese stick refried refried beans nibble corn taco toppings caratinis Mandarin oranges, dice pears. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To start off headlines, talking about deer. In the, in the 1940s, the U.S. Army killed four, 40 kilometers in the, of the wilderness in central New York and turned into a weapons depot. By chance, the fencing enclosed a community of rare white deer and protected them from hunters and predators for more than 60 years. The refuge is near Seneca Lake, a resort area. White deer are rare in most places around the world because they are easy to spot against green or brown forest backgrounds. It makes it easy for them, it's easy for them a good target for hunters and animals, predators like coyotes and wolves. The white deer lived undisturbed in their enclosure. Their their numbers increased as the years passed. The white deer passed along their unique genes to their offspring and thrived. There are about 200 white deer and 600 brown deer on the military base. The storage area is is for military weapons stayed active until 2000. The local newspaper says nuclear weapons were stored at the site during the Cold War. During that time, relations between the U.S. and Russia were tense but did not increase. After the depot was closed, the Army Corps of the Engineers took over, cleaned, uh, took over, cleaned up the land, and made it more useful. The depot is supposed to be clean and ready for sale next year. Act- activists say they want to protect the deer. They say they fear that the fences will be torn down when the property is sold. That might put the white deer in danger. It will be easy for them to migrate to other areas and be targeted by hunters and predators. Perhaps some will wander into roads and get killed by cars. They will not be protected as they have been for over 50 years, activists say. Dennis Money is is working to protect the deer. His group called the Seneca White Deer Incorporated can protect the deer by buying a property. If Seneca White Deer buys about 1,000 hectares, the deer will be safe, the group says. It might offer guided tours so visitors from around the world can see the rare deer. The Seneca County Industrial Development Agency received the rights to the land when the Army withdrew. The agency is public corp- the agency is a public corporation set up by New York State that promotes business development in the country, in the county. The Army turned parcels of land over to de- the development ag- agency. The agency sold them to local businesses. A prison and a law enforcement center has been built on the land. Bob Aronson is the exclusive director of the agency. He is trying to sell the rest of the land. Aronson said farmers want to buy the land for cattle to graze and crops to grow. The profits from the land sale will be invested back into other projects in the county. Another organization, the Nature Conversy, also seeks to protect the deer habitat. 
Aronson has offered the land to the towns of Romulus and Warwick. They are closed to the depot. He said he will charge them one dollar if they manage who gets the land or how it will be used. White deer are seen as special animals. Native Americans believe they are a blessing. In Michigan, Missouri, and Ohio, hunters and civic workers shot and killed white deer in an effort to reduce the deer population. Local residents were furious. Scientists say the deer is not albino, it is just lack pigment in their fur. That's, and that's a wrap of today's headlines. On this day in 1913, the assembly line at the Ford Automotive Plant begins moving. And now for our fun fact, did you know that, that according to the latest research, only 17% of the worldwide population served the internet and 19% of all the internet ser servers are used from the United States of America? Really? It's true. Have a great day, North Point. We'll see you next time with some more great news. And remember, North Point, keep your paws up. Make it a great day or not, the, the choice, choice is, is yours. yours.